Let's not meet. How I found out someone was living in my house. Written by The Bella Bubbles. About a year ago, for the month of June, my family went to France for four weeks and left me to tend to the house and take care of the animals. My house is in quite the interesting location. It is an hour from the campus I go to school on and a 30 minute drive from my work and 20 minutes from the main town. My neighbors and I have a few acres in between each other and the closest house to me is a 10 minute drive. The property is surrounded by farmers' fields, military land, and then miles and miles of BLM property surrounded by mountains. Sometimes I feel like I live in the house from Courage the Cowardly Dog because of how in the middle of nowhere it is and how lots of weird stuff happens in it. If you were to Google what a two-story house looks like, this would be exactly what my house looks like. Except, it's only one story. The second story, where all the windows are, is just ceiling and space. There are also lofts in my house where my landlord was going to put the second story, but never got around to it. It was like they tried to build a two-story house, but realized that there was nowhere to put a stairwell. There is also a large basement and an attic. I have lived in this house for eight years and have always felt that the house had a weird layout. Next to my room, there's a huge wall that connects to the living room wall, but my room isn't as big as the wall, so there is just a large wall in between the living room and my room, and underneath my room is the stairs that leads to an unfinished basement. Now that you understand the layout of my house, you'd understand why there would be a lot of bird nests on the roof. The birds congregate on top of the room during the summer because that's when the most bugs are out for them to catch, and because we feed our cat just below it. My room acts like a funnel for the noise of them scratching on the roof and running around. About two weeks after my family left for France, the birds started their scratching noises on top of my roof. They do it every hour or so, all day and all night. It's a very unsettling sound to hear at three in the morning, and of course, it's annoying. Then, I started to hear scratching and banging sounds coming from the wall next to me, which is why I thought we had rats in our walls. My mom assured me over Skype that it was probably just birds on the roof like normal. But the next few days, I kept hearing the scratching noises and the banging coming from the wall. Finally, I decided that it was time to check the closets and the basements for signs of mice or rats so I could buy the proper traps. After checking the basement, I didn't find any signs of mice, so I went to go check the hall closet, which is the only thing in between my living room and my room. It's usually locked because it's full of a bunch of yard tools, my stepdad's shotgun, my archery equipment, and a handgun. As you can guess, it's locked because my youngest brother could seriously injure himself. I assumed that it was locked, but I still went to check the handle to see if it opened. I thought maybe my stepdad unlocked it before they left in case I needed the gun to protect myself. The first thing I notice when I open the closet is that all of the tools are moved to the far side and a portion of the closet wall is missing. At this point, I'm freaking the frack out and call my best friend and her dad to come over and check it out. I thought about calling the police, but since I live far out from a lot of things, I figured me discovering a hole in the wall of my closet probably wasn't enough motivation to send them out. 
My best friend's dad and brother came over and used flashlights to look into the hole. They didn't see anything super weird, so my friend's dad gets on his hands and knees and gets into the hole. When he gets out, he has a look of horror on his face and tells us that he found a dirty mattress, a pair of men's sized jeans, chicken feathers everywhere, and a whole Walmart rotisserie chicken partially eaten. He calls the police and they search the whole house and find no one and nothing out of the ordinary. My friend's dad nails a slab of wood over the hole and I have all the locks changed. The creepy compartment in my closet has since been sealed up. The scary thing is that because I work during the day and leave the house unlocked most of the time, the guy who lived in there could have come and gone as he pleased until the night when I was home. I have eight dogs, which is the reason why my family needed me to stay home, and I never heard any of them bark during the time the banging started, which means the man probably lived in my house a long time, and my dogs just got used to him.